Well, today we're going to learn about multiplying binomials. Now, you've learned how to do it with the area model, okay? It's not always required. As a matter of fact, as you get into more bigger and bigger boy math, you're really not going to use the area model. So we could do it like this. They, you've heard of, uh, well, there is one four-letter F word you can use in public education. It's called FOIL, okay? It's first, outer, inner, last. I've never been a big fan of FOIL, and I haven't been a big fan of the area models either, but um, back in the day, this is how we taught it, FOIL. Because you're going to multiply the first, then you're going to multiply the outer, then you're going to multiply the inner, and then you're going to multiply the last terms. For me, that falls apart if you're doing a monomial times a binomial or a binomial times a trinomial. See, we're multiplying binomials. What does that mean? Two terms, two terms. So I'm not a huge fan of that. All, I am a huge fan of distributive property. <clears throat> See, if I take this 3x, I can multiply it, Dorothy and Toto, somewhere over the rainbow, and then down here, Dorothy and Toto, and then I can combine all the like terms after that. So what is 3x times x? 3x squared. What is 3x times 4? 12x. What is negative 2 times x? Negative 2x. And what is negative 2 times 4? Negative 8. And 9 times out of 10, you're going to be able to, well, in this situation, you'll always be able to combine the inner terms here. So we have 3x squared. What do we got? Uh, 12x minus 2x is 10x minus 8. And that, my friends, is how you multiply binomials.